Hello everyone. So right now we have again, of course, our favorite author, CJ. Madami pa kasi tayong um, kailangang matutunan from CJ. And actually, in the last interview, he shared with us a lot of concepts, yung plotter, yung pantser. So if you're new into writing, malaking mm-hmm. help talaga yon. Pati yung mga third-person point of view, first-person point of view, those are the choices that you will have to make as a writer. And mm-hmm. right now, of course, uh, iba na kasi yung landscape ngayon. Dati talagang traditional publisher yung dinadaanan, mostly ng mga writers. But right now, there's mm-hmm. also the self publishing. So CJ can also share with us some insights about self-publishing. So CJ, can you tell us more about self-publishing and what made you decide to really do self-publishing for your book? Okay. Uh, well, for those na who are starting out and they're wondering, ano, I keep hearing self-publishing. Ano ba talaga yan? Well, self-publishing is basically um, hindi ka bound by the traditional means wherein wala kang agent, hindi ka nagsubmit ng manuscript to an agent, and the agent itself did not shop around uh, mm-hmm. with your manuscript to look for representation uh, sa mga big uh, publishers. Okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, and also, if um, hindi rin, let's say, kunyari, nakuha nga yung book mo uh, ng isang publisher, uh, and it's not the main, the big five. Actually, parang mm-hmm. pakunti sila ng pakunti eh, kasi sila sila, nag, nagbabangayan sila eh. Um, <laughs> So it's it's uh, kunyari, it's not Random House, it's not Penguin. Actually, Penguin and Random House iisa na ngayon. So it's not mm-hmm. Penguin Random House, it's not um, it's not Kanaf, um, it's not um, Scholastic. But I think Scholastic has also been bought by some ano na. But you know, um, if it's not part of the main five uh, and it's a small press. Um, that's still, in a way, parang semi-traditional pa rin, pa rin, di ba? But there are also small presses, yung mga uh, small presses na hindi kilala or nag-uumpisa pa lang. But let's say, if you self-publish, lahat talaga ikaw. Ikaw ang mm-hmm. nagtrabaho, ikaw ang naghanap ng artist, ikaw ang, ikaw ang, let's say, even if may concept ka ng cover mo, pwede ikaw pa rin na nagpatupad. You can also design your own covers if you are, you know, good at, good at that. Mm-hmm. Um, ikaw ang naghanap kung papa, ikaw ang device ng marketing plan mo, ikaw ang naghanap ng uh, ng publisher, ng ng typesetter and all that. Kung mga pag self publishing, uh, you become your own publisher. Parang ganyan. So lahat talaga ikaw ang ikaw ang ikaw ang ikaw ang kikilos at ikaw din ang magpapakilos. Something mm-hmm. something to that effect. So what made me decide to do that was um, I keep seeing a lot of stories um, about indie publishing, uh, about people who who felt that masyadong maraming uh, nang haharang with regards to traditional uh, publishing. Nang haharang would be the gatekeepers. Uh, let's say you submit to a certain publisher, you submit to a certain agent, Oh, we don't want that. We don't. We feel that it's not the right time. Um, we feel that your 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 writing style would be better if say ibang ibang genre ka mag magsulat, parang ganyan. And so, um, with the rise of independent authors like again our favorite Joanna Penn, um, there's also Mark Dawson. Yeah. And, and there's so many others, but sila yung talagang dalawang prominent. Uh, na nakilala. Uh, there's also Lindsay Broker. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, if you're in the fa- if you, if you sci-fi, fantasy fantasy sci- sci-fi fantasy, na parang parang what the Jane writes, uh, L- Lindsay Broker would be, uh, you know, idol. Parang ganon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and ang bilis niya magsulat. I see. Like sometimes she can release like four books in a year. Ano yun? Hindi yeah. ka na natutulog. <laughs> Diba? I don't talaga <laughs> for mga fantasy writers and actually she offers tips as well. Mm, uh, she does. siyang to do guestings dun sa mga sales and marketing book shows. Tapos uh, she's also telling ha, Ed, there was a time kasi that I wanted to change the cover of my book naman to dragon. Mm-hmm, <laughs> kasi mm-hmm. she said, if it's fantasy, if the genre is fantasy, dragon always sells. Kailangan meron, <laughs> di ba? Uh-oh. So Uh-oh. parang, uh, ano, parang ano, I call this, parang Anne McCaffrey, kailangan may dragon. 
Correct. So CJ, thank you for that sa uh, insight about uh, self-publishing. And ngayon parang madami na talaga nagan nagse-self-publish, no? So ano ba yung hmm. kailangan i-prepare ng mga interested mag-self-publishing kasi syempre uh, it means that they will have to shell out some cash. Uh, true, true. First printing. Mm-hmm. Uh, but aside mm-hmm. from that, syempre, may cover, may editors, uh, all those things. Ano ba yung pwedeng gawin para mas makatipid? Para mas makatipid? Well, kung may kakilala ka na artist, okay. then yes, pwede mo ipasa sa kanya and say, this is what this is what I envision. Ito yung peg ko. Pwedeng sort of gayahin mo, ganito ang style. And then, uh, usap tayo. Give me, give me some give me some versions of of what of how the cover will look like and if i like it adi dun to na ko mamimili and then of course babayaran kita parang ganun so swerte mo pag may mga kakilala kang illustrators and artists Correct. and uh, and also um editors kasama rin kasama rin yan but you balikan ko lang yung sinabi mo when you said that marami na nagse self publish that is so true because back in the day earlier on pag sinabing self-publishing, may ano may stigma na kasama na parang, ay, self-publish ka, siguro hindi maganda yung gawa mo kasi hindi ka pasado sa traditional <laughs> publishing. Ganun yung, ganun, yung, ganun yung impression eh. ba diba? Hindi ka kasi pasado. But now it's the other way around. Now, because um, indie authors subcontract or hire editors, hire other people within their um, area of expertise, natututo maging sariling publisher ang mga indie authors and ang quality nila uh, nagiging at par with traditional publishers actually if you're a reader hindi mo rin mal- hindi mo rin unang iisipin na ay hindi ko babasahin niya kasi hindi traditional yan ay hindi ko babasahin niya kasi hindi yan hindi yan Macmillan books hindi yan hindi yan Barnes and Noble hindi yan Penguin Um, hindi yan um, Viking Press or whatever other press na maisip mo, no? Um, the readers really won't know and won't care who the publisher is. What the readers mm-hmm. want is, ang unang pag nakita nila is, if your cover uh, is good enough to catch my eye and kukunin ko siya from the shelf at babasahin ko yung back matter and okay. it further adds yung, yung curiosity ko with what I see in the front that made me look at the back and read it, I will buy it. Mm-hmm. Parang ganun. Right, right. Diba? Yun yung, yun yung, yun yung challenge doon. And if you have gone through, let's say, uh, the course uh, of Mark Dawson, Self-Publishing 101, but now it's iniba nila yung pangalan. Um, I, for, I forgot the name now, but when I started, it was Self-Publishing 101. There is mm-hmm. an art and there's a style to write yung 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 back matter ng ng libro mo the blurb mm-hmm. as they say and even if it's a hardbound um akala mo wow uh, for hardbound books diba let's say teka pero ba kung hardbound dito um teka <laughs> medyo malayo layo but you know, <laughs> if you have a hardbound book andito siya sa gilid diba andito siya nakalagay Uh-oh. yung summary and gano gano ganon and then pagdating dito sa likod naman um andito yung karugtong tarugtong ng summary and a picture of the author and kung mm. where you can find uh, the author, yung kanyang website. So, there's also a a way to write that. Hindi porke uh, isasummarize mo lang, yun na. You also have to summarize it in such a way na uh, it will at least pique the reader's curiosity and make them want to Um, read it more. Sabi nga ng sabi nga ng the ones that we we get to listen to um, your your blurb should at least pose a question to the reader. And the only way for that question to be answered is kailangan nilang basahin ng libro. Correct, correct. That would be the yeah. best blurb to Kailangan talaga merong hook ano? Kasi ang hirap hey, kasi <laughs> to create that hook. Tama, tama. Um, well, you'll, uh, sabi nga nila, practice makes perfect, di ba? So, kung hindi mo rin talaga susubukan, parang um, you'll always feel it parang kahirap-hirap ka, ganun-ganun. I, I, I felt the same way when I was writing it. Actually, when yung, when I was writing my own work, hindi ko muna naiisip na o oh, ano kayang, paano yung artwork? Paano yung, paano yung blurb? Paano yung ganun? Iniisip ko muna, 
first and foremost, yung content mo, yung story mo. Diba? Yun muna talaga dapat ang ayusin mo. Yung plot mo, yung characters mo, are they are they likable enough? Are they relatable enough? And do you feel that you know, the ending deserves, I mean, the character deserves that kind of ending or if, they, or if it's really a, uh, a trilogy, paano mo bibitinin yung reader para maingganyo sila to read the second book and at the same time to read the third book. Diba? Right. Which is basically what you, Jane, have done <laughs> at, at meron kang, at meron kang uh, trilogy and book one itong hawak-hawa ko ngayon <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you for that alam mo eh meron ka rin eh hindi <laughs> <laughs> lang ako <laughs> uh, yeah so um, CJ I'm interested to know kasi madami kasi di ba writers common problem dyan is writers block Uh-huh. So, na-experience mo na ba yun? And paano mo siya tinatakil when you experience, w- meron, when you meron. go into that <laughs> sort of rut? Um, alam mo yung tanong na yan, uh, depende kasi kung sino yung tinanong mo. There will be authors who do not believe in writer's block. Sabi nila, that's not writer's block. That's, that's a different term, but they don't want to call it writer's block. Uh, ang, ang explanation pa nga nila is, it's not a block. It's a hesitation on the writer because um, hindi mo alam anong susunod na mangyayari. Which mm-hmm. goes back again to plotter or pantser. Pag mayroon kang outline, pag nagplot ka, alam mo anong susunod, hindi ka mahaharangan because alam mo na kung ano yung next na dapat gawin ng character. Parang ganon. So, for, for pant, but, not necess- but I'm also not saying that because may outline ka, it's a foolproof guarantee na hindi ka mag-writer's uh, block. Hindi rin. Diba? But ang sinasabi nga nila is pag meron kang guide, meron kang plot, or meron kang bullet point, kung na, kung na ano ka man lang, kung na writer's block ka, mas madali mong tanggapin, mas madali mong i-handle ang writer's block kasi meron kang binagbabagayan na um, outline. Parang uh-huh. ganun. So, um, this one author, I am balik tayo do sa ano sa favorite ko. Um, again, it's Anne Rice and of course her son Christopher Rice. Sabi nila, um, you just write through the block. So kung hindi mo alam anong gagawin mo, uh, going back to that earlier um, um, earlier scenario that I said na kung you have the character going through the room, hindi mo alam anong gagawin. So because hindi mo alam anong gagawin. Ano ka na, tunganga ka na, parang ano yan, anong gagawin niya? Pagbukas niya ng ilaw, anong makikita niya? It's because hindi mo alam anong makikita, write the first thing that comes to your mind na makita niya. O pag, let's say, pag nakita niya is, uh, paano kung baril ang unang niya makita? Diba? O anong gagawin niya sa baril? Kakasahin ba niya? A-analyze ba niya yung baril na yan? Uh, titingnan ba niya kung bago model, old modelo, pag ulo modelo, pwede niya pagbentahan, pagkakitaan. So, dun pa lang, may idea ka na ano yung pwedeng mangyari. Na pag natapos mo na yun and nasulat mo and hindi mo nagustuhan, okay lang. Palitan okay. mo. But, okay. but at least, umusog ka na uh, from, from that point of, uh, of uh, uncertainty. So, okay. even if it comes out, even if it comes out pangit, okay lang. Pwede mong palitan. Basta, okay. ang important is, umusog ka. Ah, so, that's very interesting. Uh, actually, na-experience ko yan nung nasa third book na ako. Hmm. Tapos nasa part four, sobrang hirap na hirap talaga ako. Wow, <laughs> so book three ko lang nag-writer's block? So book one and two, walang writer's block? Ikaw na! <laughs> Doon talaga sa last kasi ang hirap i-tie up yung loose ends. Pero I think yeah. napaka-helpful nung binigay mo na scenario. And I'm sure the those who are viewing it right now, uh, mga mga writers, uh, those who are writing their first book, second book, or regardless kung pang ilan ang book yan, at some point, you're going to encounter some sort of writer's block. At least CJ has shared with us what um, what will help to counter that. So thank uh, you for so... that, CJ. And then CJ, kasi you keep mentioning Anne Rice and Christopher Rice. Um, can you tell us more about them or your other influences? We'd like to hear okay. them. Ah, okay. Um, I discovered Anne Rice in the ni- during the 90s nung I was looking for something new to read. Parang ganon. And I was also going through some, some 
soul searching. And I knew that her book was going to be made into a movie, uh, which was Interview with the Vampire. And the title alone, medyo na, na ano na ako, parang na pitting curiosity. Okay, if you're going to interview a vampire, what will the vampire say to you that you don't know? We all have misconceptions or pre- preconceived notions kung anong pwedeng gawin ng vampire, anong klaseng buhay na meron siya, ano yung pwede niyang gawin, ano yung bawal sa kanya, ano yung hindi niya, hindi niya magawa kahit gusto niya. Um, so I went in with that preconceived notion and I came out after reading the book that it's more than just that. It's more than just a horror book, but it's also um, a book that mines um, existentialism Um, kung baga, if you, parang the, you, you question life and kung ano yung pwedeng ibigay ng, ng life sa'yo, um, ano yung journey mo, sapat ba tong journey ko, ang journey ko as compared to yung journey ng isang tao, sinong mas, sinong mas matimbang na journey, ako o yung sa'yo? And baka sa akin mas matimbang because akin to, yung sa'yo, sa'yo yun, so walang kwenta yun. Yung, yung ganyan klaseng, those kinds of questions that we sometimes forget to ask. Uh, and forget to 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 do some reflection. So that book made me reflect about a lot of things, uh, the mm-hmm. things I was going through. Um, you know, questioning you know my identity as as a person, um, mm-hmm. and 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 what I can give to to society. Parang mm-hmm. parang ganon. And so it's her lyrical style that won me over, and mm-hmm. and since then I've always been always been a fan. Um, prior to reading her, um, usually Sydney Sheldon ako. Okay. Uh, and then, ang, ang kay Sydney Sheldon, doon ko na-appreciate yung, yung mga twists na ginagawa niya na akala mo, this person is, you know, mabuti siya, for, good for the character, only to find out na yung pala, plastic siya. <laughs> All the while, meron siyang pinaninindigan na hindi niya pwedeng sabihin sa central character. And yung tao kinasusok naman ng central character, yung pala yung bida or yung pala yung kakampi niya. So it's an entire, you know, shift. So yeah. do ko na-appreciate yung mga twists and turns na gano'n. I mean, before Dan Brown came into the picture, okay. um, I felt Sidney Sheldon was was it. Parang okay. gano'n. So yun yung the kinds of book that I would, books that I would read um, during the summer. And then, uh, of course, uh, starting out, uh, the Hardy Boys, yon, isa rin yon. Um, and and for the girls, the Nancy Drew mystery Nancy series, ano uh, yon, yun yung mga yun yung mga pinagkumpisahan natin na uh-huh. uh, na the basics, parang parang ganon. And if you are one of the many who have collected the Hardy Boys series, the hardbound, the color blue. Hindi ko malala kung ilan yun. Alam ko, more than 20 yun eh. Uh, that's a collector's item. Ipamana nyo sa anak nyo yan. <laughs> Huwag nyong ibenta. Collector's item po yan. <laughs> True. Um, actually, time really flies so fast when I'm talking to you. Ang daming insights and you know, ang daming na- napupulot na tips. Not just for me, but of course, dito sa mga uh, kasama natin na nanonood nung interview with you. So really, thank you for that. Um, any other um, topics or any other subject areas na you want to write about? Um, since yun sa akin, I, I primarily write um, urban fantasy. Uh, mm-hmm. But for Take Me Now, it's a little more adult, diba? mm-hmm. You You can, I guess you can classify it as gay erotica. <laughs> All right, I said it, <laughs> diba? Sorry. <laughs> I said it. I said what the book is all about. But, but you know, uh, it could be that. Um, I have something that's YA that mm-hmm. also has to do with the Dark District. But ang okay. protagonist okay. naman is babae. Uh, okay. So okay. that will be that will be ano naman, That will be it, it, actually it's bordering on YA and NA. Uh, NA is new adult. So YA is medyo uh, we know usually what YA would be. Um, Twilight is YA. That's young adult. Mm-hmm. Um, in a way, Harry Potter is also young adult. Mm-hmm. Um, also uh, the uh, the Hunger Games. That's also YA. Diba? 
although mm-hmm. it's this although it's dystopian but mm-hmm. it's also you know YA because gan yung yung age ng characters new a naman is older than YA but hindi pa siya super adult so parang gumigit na siya so kung YA is high school uh, NA is ano na college na or pa patapos na ng college parang ganon parang ganon yung bracket niya Okay, okay. Oh, Sige. Yeah. So, so si Jay, um, ano yung siguro baka you can share three tips para sa mga aspiring writers. Ano yung sasabihin mo sa kanila? Do they have to read everything? Or uh, ano sa tingin mo yung magiging most helpful para yung nasa isip nila na mga ideas, finally, masulat na, mapublish na out there? Um, Siguro number one would be read as much as you can. Diba? And if you read, Um, re- read the the kind of books that you want to write about that will interest you, that will spark your imagination. Uh, number two is try to, to be inspired. Sometimes inspiration is not something that you look for, um, although that's also an effort on your part to do that. Uh, inspiration can just come free from from anywhere. So that ties up with my third tip, and that is be a sponge. Be open to whatever influences come in. You can be either influenced by a Netflix movie, yeah. uh, by a photograph, you know, a photograph in the newspaper, an article that you've read, a story that you've heard from other people. Mm-hmm. And pwede mong uh, tapis-tapisin and, and create a story all throughout based on someone else's story. Diba? Right. Sabi nga ni, ano eh, same example, I think George Lucas um, said mm-hmm. that there are no original um, ideas lahat ano it's it's been done before the only difference is how you retell it dun lang nagkakaiba yeah. parang ganun yeah okay okay so those i i think um i i find that very helpful sometimes then yung reading talaga it helps on the writing mm-hmm. uh, yung style uh even the grammar <laughs> yes yung, even the uh, grammar common words to use common conversations dialogues Right, I think that right. really helps build your Oh, first tip, audiobooks. Audiobooks. Yeah, audiobooks. Audiobooks will no? always help. Kasi kung yeah. paano bigkasin yung particular word, yung phrasing, right. a sentence, a paragraph. So what? So that when you write, uh, mm-hmm. you can hear a voice or the voice of your character um, saying those words to you. And makukuha mo yung flow ng words. Yeah. I think that's nice. Siguro, um, CJ... Trivia naman. Mm. <laughs> One last uh, item yeah, from you as a trivia. Um, what's the man. first book uh, that made you cry? <laughs> uh, the Promise, Daniel Steele. Oh, hindi ko pa nabasa yun. Uh, I think I'll oh, try I to love. look for a copy for that. <laughs> I, love, I, love, I, love, I love that book. So, If, you know, Daniel Steele fans about out there. Mm. What about it? It's... um. Ayo kung spoiler for those who have not read it, eh. <laughs> but basta if you believe if you believe in true love and if you believe that love is worth fighting for, that mm-hmm. is the kind of book to read. Yeah, okay. yela mo sa ko, yela mo sa ko. <laughs> <laughs> I think madaming may excited magbasa ng book nyan. Baka bigla mag search yung sales ni Daniel Steele. Asalan ng kupa. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so siguro I, I think for tonight that's going to be a wrap. Uh, thank you again, CJ, for gracing us. Um, thank you, thank you for having me over, again. Jane. And I hope we can do a third session in the future. Oh, uh, so especially pag out na yung book mo, whether it's the prequel or the second installment the of second. your series. Sige, um, I would always love to come back. Yeah. And Thank siyempre, you. Dahil nakadalawa, nakadalawa na ako dito sa'yo, kailangan ikaw naman pumunta sa channel ko. <laughs> Soon. Sige. Thank you, CJ. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Ingat. Keep reading you, and keep writing. Bye. Ingat. Bye.